If you've ever heard that hunting zebra is like hunting a horse, you really need to watch today's episode of Outdoor Quest TV. As Vanessa heads to Namibia in search of Hartman's Mountain Zebra, then I chase the elusive gray ghost, the greater kudu. Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. Now celebrating our 10th season. Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. I'm Vanessa Harrop. And I'm TJ Schwanke. We're about in the wildest part of Southern Africa you can be. We're up in the northwest corner of Namibia. And this is heaven, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it really is. It's everything I dreamed. Yeah, and this, I mean, you know, hunting Africa for you has been a, a lifelong dream. It and has. Yeah, you know, for me, it's it's something I hadn't really thought about. Then we went to Safari Club International Show in Reno a couple of years in a row, and just, you know, talking to the African outfitters and just looking at all the unique trophies and hearing and hearing the stories. I think that's, you know, and I've always been a fan of Ruark and Hemingway and Capstick. Capstick. And, um, it's everything they wrote about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the important things for us, and I mean, nothing against people who do hunt on the ranches and things, but we really wanted to come experience wild Africa. Um, you know, we didn't want to hunt on a ranch. We didn't want to hunt behind fences. Uh, we wanted it the way it used to be 100 years ago, and finding that's pretty tough now. And we talked to a lot of outfitters at the Safari Club show and kind of narrowed it down to two or three. And, you know, Boot and Karen were definitely at the top from Boot and Al Hunting Safaris, where we are right now. And, yeah. And, you know, getting to Namibia couldn't have been easier. Um, for us, from flying from Calgary, Alberta, it was literally two airplanes. Yeah. Um, totally seamless. This country is so safe and, um, you know, people are so friendly. It's just a wonderful experience. And I think for people wanting to experience, you know, still a bit of that real Africa, but, you know, doing it in a fairly safe manner, and in a really convenient manner, I can't imagine a better country than Namibia. And that's why we chose it. Yes. We're here on a planes game hunt. And, you know, we've got a, a long list of species that we can shoot. And the neat thing is, every corner you go around, every hill you walk over, it could be zebra, it could be gemsbok, oh, yeah. it could be kudu. So, really well, neat experience. You know, like, you just never know what you're going to be hunting. And that's so exciting. And you get the the real adrenaline rush, too, of, of the spot and stalk and the hunt. And your your emotions are constantly doing one of these. Yeah, it you know, really is. And then you come over a hill and it's just game as far as you can see. You yeah. know, it's just amazing. I know. Yeah. You almost gasped when you saw your first giraffe. Oh, I mean, I, I, I personally couldn't shoot one. I mean, they really are beautiful. <laughs> but well, you have shot a lot of other things here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't too cute to shoot. <laughs> Stick with us. You want to follow us along in this adventure? It's going to be great. All right, Vanessa. We spot some zebras here. Yes. There's mountain zebras. And they're behind these bushes here. In the mountain, they're going to walk behind these bushes here until they get lost by. they got very good eyes. Uh, the shot won't be a close shot. Anything on 200 yards, 250 yards, maybe. Okay. All right. But you can do that. to get within 200 yards. You can try to do that. Yeah. 200, 250 yards. We won't get closer than that. Okay. But the main thing is just put a bullet exactly where you want to shoot it. Exactly. In the middle of the shoulder. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay.
much closer than this. Okay. Alright. Let's go around there. I saw I saw a mare and a foal. But there was three big ones. There's always one studying with the group and shoot a study in. Okay. Alright. Don't worry, I want to turn. Tell you which one open. Okay. I will tell you which one open. Let him be, let him too far now, let him be. What a better opportunity. That man in the floor is very alert. That last one may be Italian. I just tell him it's behind the bush, but it's too far to shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, good idea about the eyesight. <laughs> While we'd heard lots of stories about how challenging Hartman's mountain zebra were to hunt, we really had no clue how wary they could be. But after several unsuccessful stalks, Vanessa finally got the opportunity to make her dream come true. Just wait a little bit. Females, females, far on the right, far on the right is the male. Yeah, you yeah, see? I got him. Okay, take him. Good shot, he got it, he got it. Got it. Going. Be on him, be on him. Going. They should a little bit far back it looked like. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's gonna go down. Okay. We're gonna check. It looked like a good hit. He pulled up his back legs. Maybe he's a little bit on an angle shot, a little bit far back. Right. They will angle to the front. He was angling away from us. Okay. So I think it's not a bad shot. 
You okay? <laughs> Let's go. Vanessa, well done. <laughs> I had to teach you a little bit. <laughs> it's a very nice big stallion. Huge one. Keep up the hands and look at your hands. What's going on, man? <laughs> well done. Really nice. That's a really beautiful mountain Hartman zebra. <laughs> oh, the <that> tears now. <laughs> At least there you can eat some 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 nuts. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful animal. Beautiful, beautiful. So Vanessa, it was a big dream for you to get a zebra, eh? It was. <laughs> and we had done a lot of food slogging yesterday. And this morning. And this morning. <laughs> got a lot of ground. Yeah. And you got this a beauty, a beauty, beauty of a oh. big mountain Hartman zebra. He's just a huge stallion, a beautiful. Not a lot of markings on him. Scars not, but beautiful. Yeah, he's just gorgeous. Yeah, as you saw, I <laughs> got a few tears after we walked up on him. It was, this was one of the things I really, really wanted to experience in Africa. And um, I, I'm just at a loss for words. <laughs> it really, he's, he's so beautiful. And it, you know, it was so neat. Like this morning we had that stock on those zebras and, and you know, like they were what, 115 yards from us, yeah. but they were just in the trees and everything. It was just no good. And, and then, you know, driving back to camp and I figured, okay, we're done for the day. And then uh, saw these guys and got on them and it was fast work, boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said to you the other day, for me, it's going from zero to 100 to <laughs> in a second, eh? <laughs> it really is. It's, um, hunting in Africa is not as easy as most people think it is. It's, um, it's a real challenge. And, um, but holy smokes, is it a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're going to make a small stalk now. Yeah. Uh, Got into the mountain, yes, it got kind, of, got kind of a horseshoe down there in the back. We right. had to go slowly around the corner down there. That horseshoe always, it carried, it's like a, like a valley coming down there. And I very often saw Kuru in that area down there. Okay, it looks like really rugged and rocky around here. Is it's that a, what they like the most? It's a very rough, yeah. Kuru okay, is not naturally not a mountain animal. Okay. From natural to mountain animal. Because they've got small feet that's for moving in the rocks and stuff. Your game spark, blue willabies, hardy all that stuff, is plains game animals. They've got the bigger feet, right. more for a sandy part and stuff. But this is a good place now for a Kuru. And I think we've got a good chance to get maybe get one down there. Okay, they've kind, yeah. of, they've kind of eluded us this week, haven't they? Yeah, we look at so many spots, so many good spots, yeah. you know, but We've the, seen the, the, rain, of... the rain the last 10 days was just too much in this area. Yeah, there's water yeah. everywhere. everywhere. I mean, we've seen some young bulls and some cows, but yeah. just haven't seen a big bull here yet, but hopefully this will be the one. Maybe. Yeah. Let's, let's take go. a try. Okay. Wait, just wait, just wait. Oh, they're gonna go, they're gonna go. Don't shoot, don't shoot, wait, wait, he's running, he's running. He's running, don't shoot, don't shoot. Some bush, let's go to that. No, he's gonna slow down, if he's slow down, because I can't take him. You ready? Take him. Oh man, he's going down. <laughs> Holy man. Can't believe it. That's a hell of a shot. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch him. Be on him, be on him. He's down. I can still see him moving. Yeah. yeah. Where'd I hit him? It looks like he broke both, both his, his front legs. That was a long shot. It was a long shot, man. He's still moving a little bit. I think maybe right. I hit him low. Let's go closer, boy. Yeah. Closer, close. Take it. Take it. Go. 
Wait, wait, wait. 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 Little, that was a little excitement. <laughs> Thought he was dead, then I could see him breathing a little bit. So Get, it. Get it to Arnold again. Oh. Thanks, my man. Well done. Oh. You make a long shot. Very long. Well over 300. <laughs> <laughs> well over 300. Oh, but I never thought I'd see a kudu tumble down a mountain. It was more like a sh more like sheep hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, when you're standing up here, it looked like a sheep hunting place now, eh? Well, I couldn't believe... Uh, I mean, we'll get him down there, we'll get him set up, we'll talk a little more about the, the stock and everything, but that was... I was surprised he fell. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good shot you made up down there. Oh, thank you, thank you, I just... I'm happy you got him there, that's a big thing, you know, it was... Your last day? Last day, and... Definitely the animal that was highest on my list that I wanted the most. Got, hey, well done. <laughs> Let's get him down a little more, get him set up, and we'll uh, show him off. We just wanted to show you how steep it is here and, well, how he landed. <laughs> Thank you, my man. You're welcome. Well, he looks a little better than he did a few minutes ago, Booth. That was a nasty tumble he took down <laughs> that mountain. You bet. Did you make a good shot up down there? He was moving up. But they shot 360 yards, 370 yards about. It had to be, I know, we took the, we had no time to range find it, we just had to shoot, but took the range finder reading back to the truck that had already moved at the bottom there. Yeah. And it was 340 to it, and I know it was, he was up quite a ways from it there. It was so more up, yeah. 360, 400 somewhere <laughs> in there. It was not the shot I thought I was going to take at a kudu in Africa, but last day, and it's really the first opportunity I've had at a, you know, a nice mature yeah, bull like bull, this. Yeah. But it's a real big bull, a real old bull also, as you can see, like I said, the point is going in front of the front and outside again. Uh, very nice old bull, very nice mature bull, it's a big thing for us. Yep. But you know by now, we only shoot big, really mature animals. But the beautiful animal, and again, that's just really free-ranging animals. Yeah, I know, and that's, you know, that was so important to us coming to Africa, was to hunt animals that naturally lived here and that weren't confined in fences and weren't stalked or anything like that. And, you know, to, like you say, it's not the do in the world but I'm very very happy just to have done it that way. <laughs> well done TJ, that gives you a reason to come back. You shot your first kudu bull, you had to eat a few pieces of liver raw. Okay. But I mean, apparently I had to eat with you because I was a peer. So. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to show me where the kudu are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's your drink. So first of all congratulations. Thank you so much. This you is, shot um, one of the ghosts in the bush, one I of did. the most difficult animals we shot, yes. and I think one of the most best animals we got in the movie. Yeah, I agree. Well and done, thank man. You. Thank you for a job well done. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. Not too bad. Raw kudu liver. You don't tell people this before they shoot one, though. No, 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 no. No, no, it's kind of a surprise. Mm -hmm. So you have to do this every time you shoot a kudu? Yeah. Or just the first time? The first time. No. Oh. So I come back and shoot a kudu, I don't have to next no, time. You're done. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, cheers, Vanessa. Cheers to an awesome trip. Yes. <laughs> doesn't get much better than this, does it? Really it really doesn't. Well, I don't know if I could have imagined Africa being any more than it is. Oh. You? I can't at all. It's fulfilled a lifelong dream for me. Yeah. I mean, I've, I know I've said this a lot, but it really has. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to put into words. You think you know what you're coming to here and you don't have a clue. No, you don't. You, um, you truly have to experience this to believe it. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of the shot I made in that kudu today. That was... Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Absolutely was... amazing. I mean, you know, we spent so many days looking for a kudu for you. <laughs> and it all came down to that one shot, that one shot I didn't want to take, you know, 400 yards at a kudu is not yeah. something you want to do. But. Yeah, I mean, before you came here, you said, I'm not taking a shot over 200 yards, but you really didn't have a choice. I didn't, and uh, thankfully it worked out good. Lots of practice and lots of time spent at the range was, yes. was well done. Yeah. Hey, I hope you really enjoyed this adventure in Africa. It's been incredible for us, and if you ever want to enjoy your own Namibian safari, make sure you get a hold of Bootnail Hunting Safaris. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. To a great trip. To an awesome trip. Thank you. For more information on Bootnell hunting safaris, 
contact them at 264-62-561-480 or check them out online at namibiansafari.com. Visit us online at theoutdoorquest.com.